So, um, we're going to be doing something like we did last week too, though this might be coming to you in more than one part, but part the first, I'm going to do touch-ups, so enjoy. to save you all from the rest of this because it's really boring and I'm sorry about that. There's only so much clown car time lapsing that, you know, touch upping can really, you know, make exciting. So until the next segment. Okay, this is part two of the video. Um, so before I go into the next stage of the My Little Pony piece, the community calendar. The show that this piece is going to be in, as well as Kashuk and a Sailor Moon Polyptic that I'm working on, is in January at the Art Garage in Green Bay. The opening is January 9th from 5 to 8. Come see interesting pop culture art. You know, if you want to contribute to starving artists, bring a snack, bring booze. That's about what we're rocking this time. And I'm going to get to it.
a different day, so yes, I was having some problems with the drawings and figured out that it was because I was trying to draw it on the wall rather than on a table, hence why you have this very strange thing behind me that's part of my studio that you don't normally see. And I'm sorry that this video is late. This week has been really bizarre and kind of and kind of hectic. I picked up reviewing another comic book series for the Rainbow Hub. It's called Bitch Planet. It's by Kelly Sue DeConnick. The art is by Valentine De Landro, who is amazing. Just seriously, the art alone is enough to read this thing. But it also has a back cover, like an old school comic book back cover done by Lauren McCubin, who is an amazing, immersive installation artist as well as documentarian, and Daniel Henderson, who created Feminist Ryan Gosling, wrote the Back Matter essay, and the entire thing is perfect. So Bitch Planet, uh, my review for it, by the time this goes up, should be up on the Rainbow Hub. I will put a link in the drawer so that you can go read the thing. And I am still taking votes as to what I should do for my whatever a day or whatever a week for next year. I'm thinking maybe doing a couple of different things, like some a week, some a day. I don't know. Let me know. It could be a photo a day. It could be I could write more blog posts because I am sorely <laughs> not good at writing the blog posts. It's like I'm good at writing them. I just not good at remembering to write them. So let me know. Leave comments. Message me wherever you're seeing this and yeah. I also need a haircut. I perpetually need a haircut. So, okay, I am going to go do other things now that I have sorted out my artistic difficulties. Obviously, it's a different day. Um, 